Hey guys, my name is Zach, aka Zen. This is going to be my Raider's Guide to Garrisons. I'm going to teach you the basics to a Raider's Garrison. First, I'm going to go over all the buildings you're going to need. Of course, you're going to need a level 3 Garrison to have all the buildings that you want and need. I'm going to start off with my small buildings. Obviously, you want a salvage yard. This is one of the most useful buildings next to your Grey Hall. The salvage yard at level 1 will allow you to get salvage crates from your missions that you do in your Grey Hall that your followers do for you. At level 2, you get a greater chance of getting salvage from your missions. In addition that you may discover follower items in your salvage and then at level 3 and it increases your salvage again with the addition that you can get player items from your salvage the next most important building is the lumber mill that it lets you gather lumber to make resources to make all of your buildings that you need and upgrade them Level 1, 2, and 3 are not really helpful other than level 3 you get you can cut larger trees and then you can get a follower. Level 2 lets you cut medium trees and level 1 is just these short trees. If you want you can trade your lumber mill for a trading post that you get a little more resources for your trade but a trading post does cost you different profession materials one day it might cost you or another day it might cost you herbs now your third most important building is going to be your war mill at level one it doubles your chances for quest rewards to become bonus upgrades which can be rare or epic upgrades and this is for any item level gear that you can equip that can be dropped at level 2 it opens up follower weapons and armor exchange for garrison resources so that you can trade in garrison resources for the chance at getting an item level upgrade for your followers. For your small buildings your first choice should be a profession building that is specific to you for me is the forge because I'm a blacksmith and the building the other building that you want should be an enchanter study for the fact that you can disenchant your unused gear and then use those enchanting materials to upgrade your own gear now for your medium building your second one you want either a frost wall tavern or a barn I chose a frost wolf tavern so that I could get the specific followers that I needed for my missions there are nine different counters and you can only have 20 followers unless you get the barracks to level 3 which lets you have 5 additional followers that one I'm leveling up last for the reason that it's not useful until you get it to level 3 the Frostwolf Tavern gives you daily quests along with every week you can recruit a new follower with specific traits and abilities and at level 3 it unlocks the lucrative treasure hunt missions which award a lot more gold and I'm not too sure if they unlock items either these other buildings you can unlock at your choice I've unlocked my mind to level 3 and my herb garden level 2 for more money revenue and I've made everything else level 2 besides my barracks now I'm going to move over here to the followers or missions table. There I have two complete. As you can see here I have five different missions here with the item level of 615. That is because I have at least three different followers that have the item level of 615. As I explained before how you can get item level upgrades for your followers which look like this. And look I got salvage crates from those missions that I just barely did and then you can use those upgrades to upgrade your followers item level for every tier of item level the first one is 615 the next one is 630 I believe or 625 then 645 and 665 I don't know if the item level followers can get that high 
but you can sure as heck get gear for yourself that is which is that high because I have a 615 quest here and the reward is a 630 shoulder item which is appropriate for my specialization every follower has ability that counters every mission spell and if you get your followers to level 100 and then they level up again they become a rare follower and that adds an extra trait to their arsenal of abilities and then if you level them up past rare they turn into epic followers then they get two counters and three different traits that's all for my raiders garrison guide i hope you guys have a great day 420 praise it i'm out